What's up, y'all? This is Timmy with Full Send Alaskan Overland, and this is part two of the Arctic Circle Drive, driving the Dalton Highway all the way to the top of the world, to the top of Alaska. So sit down, buckle up, and jump in with me for the ride, and welcome to Truck House Live, baby. As you guys know, I've been rallying down this road, but I just opened the door. Check out the house. <laughs> That's what happens. It's actually pretty good. Like all the spices are hanging, coffee cups are hanging. Yeah, let's uh, probably fix that, I guess. This is what happens when things get rowdy. Holy Lord. Oh, all right. How about that? Man, getting tossed back here. That's awesome. There we go. Back to normal, kind of. All right, I figured this is great weather and let's play a song. It's about like stopping, taking a little breather, even though I'm still sitting. This is, uh, it's actually, I mean, Johnny writes a lot of music and I write a lot of music and uh, Hannah writes a lot. Leah's got some songs, so we all write stuff, but uh, this is a song by Gillian Welch. Oh, little 
and snow, but the winter's come and gone, and lover told me so. So if you're gonna drive from Fairbanks to Coldfoot, a lot of people out there mention like, oh, there's there's not very many self-service stations. There's literally no service stations. So I haven't seen a gas station at all. And I'm at almost 200 miles from Fairbanks. And if you notice, I've got an empty tank. So if I only had one fuel tank, I would be uh, up the creek right now. now. Luckily, this diesel has two fuel tanks, two 17 gallon tanks. So I can go about 400 miles, but uh, yeah. My old Toyota RV only went 200 miles in a tank and it only had one tank. So keep that in mind. So if you're gonna drive from Fairbanks to Coldfoot, make sure to bring extra gas. If your car only has one gas tank and you get like 12 to 15 miles a gallon, you're gonna need extra gas. Uh, so this is pretty cool. Check out this old, uh, old cabin right here, right in the pipeline. Pretty wicked. I wonder if they used to maintain the pipeline or just had some kind of contract and the pipeliners paid them to do whatever out here. I don't know. I'm assuming that's what's going on because the house is literally right on the pipeline. It's 10 feet away from it. Yeah. Cool. Looks like we're at the Arctic Circle. Let's go check it out really quick. We're going right by it. Since it's of geographical importance, the old 7.3 a break probably needs it kind of like me so now we've entered into the arctic circle pretty cool um how can i explain it essentially like the northern hemisphere that we're in in our winter time uh, the northern hemisphere points away from the sun so this arctic circle area is the most pointing away from the sun area which means it's really dark for a few months up here so uh, in the summertime, there's 24 hours of daylight for a couple months. In the wintertime, there's a whole bunch of darkness. Like, the sun doesn't even hit the horizon. So it's pretty crazy, but pretty cool. Well, there's a new crack. It got me good. Woo! Like I was saying, those trucks, you gotta get out the way for them, man. They ain't pulling over, they ain't slowing down, they ain't moving over. Which makes sense because this road was originally made to get oil and products to and from Prudhoe Bay. So there you go. So I'm the jerk. All right, I think we're closing in on cold foot. It's almost 10 o'clock at night. I've been driving maybe 10 hours or something like that. But we're getting up to the high country. Well, I found this little side trail up to this knoll. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna go eat a, eat some dinner up here really quick before we get to Coldfoot. Ooh. I'm not famished, but it's time to eat something. Mm. Man, these guys, Alaska Roasting Company and Fairbanks, freaking epic. Super good coffee, super good. Oh, we'll get a jumper. Uh, fired up pizzas. Mmm. It's doing the trick. I realize I am pretty famished. I'm actually like kind of shaky right now because I haven't eaten anything all day. Kind of. But it's beautiful. You can see the uh, it's quality gravel right there. Pipeline down there. I think what my plan is, is to roll into cold foot and fill up both tanks of diesel. So I'm back to normal again. And then I'm gonna roll down and try to find the Marion Creek campground and probably just camp out right there. And in the morning, we're gonna go up Marion Creek and see what that waterfall looks like. See if it can be done in a kayak or a pack raft. Yeah, buddy. About 10 and a half hours later, guess where we are. Pulling up into Coldfoot. I don't know if I'm gonna gas up tonight or tomorrow. I might uh, 
I might fuel up in the morning instead of tonight. So I might blast on down to Marion Creek Campground. But Oh, so I totally forgot that Marion Creek is actually five miles north of Coldfoot. Uh, the last time I saw it, I think we got in a, a bush plane back in Coldfoot at the airport and we're flying north to go out rafting, uh, me and my old man. And I looked off to my right and I saw this creek with this freaking waterfall up here and thought like, oh, I should go check that out for the kayak one day. So anyway, we're uh, almost there. <laughs> yeah, buddy. We arrived at our destination right up here. And I just passed the campground. Sweet. All right, in we go. Marion Creek Campground. Looks pretty good to me. So normally I never stay at campgrounds or pay for camping. I think I've literally never paid for camping my entire life, actually. So, and I'm not even joking. So, we'll see. I don't know what the situation is here. All right, so you guys are gonna think this is pretty funny, but you're witnessing the first time I have ever paid for camping my entire life, and I'm doing it tonight. Just because I'm gonna go kayaking here tomorrow, and I'm gonna need to park just somewhere around here, and. Just whatever, man. I'm over it, so. Here we go. Can't believe I'm doing this. And I did it. <laughs> sweet, man. Check out that Airstream Bambi. That's sweet. Always wanted one of those, but they're way too expensive. And... We're home for the night. Woo. Not too shabby. So before I go to bed, which I'm freaking tired, uh, I'm gonna take the one wheel over to the entrance of the campground and they had this map of the area. So I wanna go see what's up with the, what's up with the Marion Creek uh, trail that goes up it i believe there's some kind of trail that i might be able to ride the one wheel up tomorrow with the kayak so let's uh i'll go check that out really quick but this is probably going to be a two or three part series so you should probably watch the next video to see what happens next i hope you guys enjoyed the video here if you did make sure to smash the like button and subscribe to the channel we'll see you in the morning <music>